Well, we did an impulse buy, and it's super windy out here. Uh, and our impulse buy involves what's in that trailer right there. You guys are just dying to tell me. <laughs> All right, let's go see what it is. You're a little excited. What did we get? Baby cats go boom, 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 boom. Baby cats go boom, 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 boom. Baby Look at those boom, beauties. <laughs> Hi. Three Jersey bull calves. Yeah, so we have a... We went out and got... Cows! Don't worry, Jenny, you're on video. You got that, Jenny? How's that going? How's that? How's that cow rustling going for you? What What are you doing there? Trying to get the cow. What are you doing? That cow says, "I don't know what this lady's doing." Hey, but yeah, in front in front of the front legs, behind the back legs is how we carried them out of the last trip. That's trailer. what I'm trying to do. I know, I know. I'm just. No, there we go. Free light? No. Don't crack the the cow's skull there, please. <laughs> and they're gonna slip on this floor, so be really careful putting them down. Yeah. There. Yeah, good baby. Yeah, good job. All right, so we got one. Hey, where's your guys' sister at? Could somebody go get her? Uh, TJ's not here this weekend. Oh, she just went out here, guys. I think uh, this week we are going to try and do a YouTube video every day this week, all cows. Pertaining to the cows. Pertaining to the cows. A couple of those videos might just be, here's a five minute look at the, some pictures that we got and some video that we got this week. Uh, but I think Monday through Friday this week, we are going to try and do a, a video every day. And Are those ridiculous or what, TJ? <laughs> You can go in there with them too. They're thinking it's feeding time, but they still have about two hours. So TJ, what is your very first impression of having cows? They're too cute. <laughs> they are so cute. And uh, if you come out here when we feed them tonight, if you come out here, they get to hopping and jumping after they eat. <laughs> almost like a baby goat, almost. Not, they, they're not as crazy as a baby goat, but they... They get a little hippity hoppity. It's cute. And Look the little one was faces. bucking last night. Right ya. Right ya, baby. Aren't they cute? Baby. And they're hungry. This one, I don't know about total size. This one, this one seems to have a bigger face. This one's definitely smaller. Yeah, I think when I, when I carried them out here, or when I carried them from the, the their trailer to our trailer, that's the one I carried. Right. And I that's why I was like, I don't think they're so heavy. But then when I carried one of these guys out, I was like, holy moly! Wait, you carried? I carried. I carried, and mom carried. I tried carrying. Well, look, look what the other kids are doing. Just be nice and slow, and put your other hands through there. And... We're going to give, feed them real quick on our vet's recommendation. That our, the vet will be out here tomorrow morning, to do, or tomorrow, to do a just a health and welfare check on them. Uh, depending on what the vet thinks, they might get banded tomorrow. Um, but she was here. She was really nice. She stopped by to give us some special electrolytes, and um, she said to make that their feeding tonight. So that's what we're going to do, and we're going to do that here real soon, I think. Um, again, we always like giving our animals tons of room, and I feel like this is really small, but I also feel like these cows are perfectly fine in here. We're going to have to, I assume we're going to have to muck this every day, keep it nice and clean, lots of fresh straw. I have to go get straw tomorrow. These are definitely people cows. Our vet also recommended if we we're going to keep them here in the garage. To keep this screen open so there's some kind of airflow through here. Um, maybe get a far window, but 
She said, kind of like the people said that we got the cows from, that you also don't want to draft on them because that could contribute to pneumonia. So... Like if I lick it long enough, it'll be just like sugar, and it will dissolve. That cow's thinking it wants to eat the metal panel. Yeah. That cow's like, I don't care what's going on around me. I just want to eat my way out of here. They look good. I think they look good. We know nothing about cows, but I think they look good. So when we arrived to pick up these cows. Oh my goodness. <laughs> Um, we had already Jenny told was the, Jenny was getting dressed in I was the putting truck, my coat on. And I jumped out and went, well, I'm not dressed. I was getting my coat on. Uh, but, and we had already warned the kids that we might not keep the cows, you know, if they didn't pre, uh, seem healthy and stuff. Because we had gotten prior information from the vet about what to look for for a healthy calf. And so we were all kind of on edge. Were we going to get these calves or not? Because we'd already all seen the pictures, right? Had but, the kids? But the pictures were from the last batch. It wasn't a Oh, these that's guys. right. It wasn't these guys exactly. That's right. Yeah. Um, and so I walk up to the trailer and I look in there with the lady. Her son wasn't there yet, right? Uh, and I, uh, uh, so I walk up to the trailer with the lady and I look in there and I was like, oh my gosh. And then she, I think the lady and I talked for a minute before for you made it. For a second, yeah, yeah, before I made it over there, put my gloves on. And Jenny, uh, Jenny comes around the corner of the truck because we pulled the two trucks and trailers up side by side. And I say, can you get my phone? And there's no way in heck we're getting these cows. And then... And he shut the door of their trailer. Yeah. Go ahead. And I was like, what do you mean we're not getting the cows? Like, I, th I was thinking something was wrong with the cows. I'm like, why would this lady, you know, try to sell me cows that weren't healthy or whatever? Because everybody does that. Because everybody does it, but like she seemed really sincere right. and stuff while I was talking to her. And so I was like, oh man, we just drove an hour. We're not even going to get them. This is disappointing. And I was looking at him like he's she was crazy. A deer in the headlights. I mean, she was like, uh. what do you mean? And, uh, and he's like, uh, we would like to take them to the butcher one day. And I was like, are they really little? <laughs> and I went running to the trailer and I looked and I was like, oh my gosh, they are so tiny, so cute. So I went running around to the truck to go get my phone. I didn't even grab his phone <laughs> to get my phone. And uh, so I opened the door and to grab my phone and the kids are all looking at me and I turned and I looked at them and I had kind of a serious face and I was like, they are so cute. And I shut the door and ran away. <laughs> go get them. Faith, I want you to lay down on the ground and see if you can feel a draft down there. The vet honestly said to get down on the cow's level and see if you can and see if you can get uh, if you can feel uh, any kind of little tiny draft. She saw he's kissing me. Ew. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't say you. Oh, I thought you did. I said I must taste good. I think you. Faith's always game for everything. She doesn't mind getting stuck on by a cow. They do poop too. I mean, unless it's full grown, they might mind a little bit. Kind of hold your hands out. Do you feel any kind of draft or anything? No. Okay. Can I have a shovel here? Yes. The vet, the, yeah. the vet pretty much wanted the door open just to keep air circulation. So, mommy, there you go. Oh, right. I know, you want milk, right. and this is the electrolyte. Wait. Look, look at this guy coming at me. My freaking. It won't. I don't know. I'm getting soaked with this thing. Yeah, this is going to change tomorrow. Okay, we'll get a different bottle. My hey, goodness. Hey, tip it up. Hey, baby, come yep. on. You got to get it up. Here. Faith, Faith, do you want to come do this one? Here. Or that one? Hold this one. Yeah. Okay, so, Andrew, one of these caps that we got, they only had two of the one kind, but this push-on one is leaking all over the place. So... Tomorrow we'll go try and find another screw on one. Maybe Wait. maybe mom will run, run to TSC in the morning. Is that milk? No, it's water. We're doing the electrolyte. The vet said to do this electrolytes tonight, and uh, in the morning, uh, continue on with milk. You can have the same thing if you would come over here. <laughs> well, not eating might end up being a problem. It's 
Yeah, the cat, the Having difficulties, Peter mommy. Making a big slobbery mess. Am I gonna fry his mouth open? Would take your fingers from the leg. You'd like your weird little teeth. <laughs> I haven't seen teeth. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> cute little teeth. Can I see right, that teeth? I gotta try to get this one in a corner or something. All right. It's like it's like the goat hitting the udder times twenty five thousand. I'm gonna wash my face because if it goes no. Yeah, the thing about this goat, this I can call him goats. This cow's mouth was and it's just like give it back. I feel like this this guy thinks that this nipple's not putting out enough at a time. I feel Mine like, keeps doing the same thing. Though. I feel like that's what he thinks. This one's just like drinking. That one doesn't even want to get out. <laughs> no. You shut me back with it. <laughs> <laughs> one. Okay, hold on tight. Cow. It's right. Come on, cow, get up. <laughs> and again, keep it away from your face because he's going to ram it. <laughs> hold it up. Okay. What? Why does he need to get up? He can eat in bed with you. <laughs> Hold it up, Gooby. <laughs> Andrew, good job. Try to come up a little bit. All right, babe. So we're what? Day two. Two. Day two. In fact, this is actually about well, right about now. We've been home about forty-eight hours with them, right? About 48 hours, and we are loving us some cows. I want to nap like that one is. <laughs> I want to nap with that one. I want to nap with that one, too. <laughs> All right, so we did it. We got some cows months ago, or I don't know about months ago. I mentioned in Pratt Pack just kind of feeling out what kind of cows to get, if, if maybe what our cow plan would work. Well... It wasn't even really a plan because we weren't even really seriously considering getting cows. Mm -hmm. And then, uh, well, and then Wednesday we talked about something and then Jenny got on Facebook. <laughs> yeah, we brought up, brought up about cows. Uh, it was a topic and we're, Mike was asking where I had seen calves for cheap last year. And it was in part of a Facebook group. And so that night I got on Facebook and I was trying to find the Facebook group and I couldn't find it, but I found a new one and it was full of calves. And then I started asking questions about what was available and what was not. And then I found these guys and I was like, we should buy calves. <laughs> <laughs> and so the next day. And the, the, the loose plan was always to get two so that they could have a companion and sell okay. off the other one. Uh, we had we had we had also we had also discussed about just getting one and letting it letting the boy goats hang out with it. Yep, but the ad was for three, <laughs> so I was like, we 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 just want two, right? Because she has three available, and he's like, why are you asking about three? I'm like, well, there's three, but I just want to make sure we're on the same page that we only want two. And then when I told her that we only wanted two, she's like, are you sure you don't want three? I'm like, we can't leave a baby behind. <laughs> like we have to have three so here we are with three um oh but yeah so they're in the garage for two week for a two-week quarantine we might go three weeks forever but basically in here in the garage where we've never really kept any animals we've, we had chickens yeah we had chicks in here one year years ago though yeah um and so it's just a quarantine to make sure we don't spread anything else around the farm or whatever yeah. but so we did have the vet out yesterday yes um, to look over the cows and you talked to the vet more. Is there anything you want to, I was late coming to the party. Um, she was just really helpful answering questions cause we've never raised cows. We've never bottle fed anything. And we had the vet out because just because of that. Yeah. It was just a health yeah. and welfare on what we yep. brought home. Wellness check. So we, we had come up with some questions. So she answered all of our questions and gave us tips on like what steps to take from this point forward and a, kind of a timeline as far as feeding and when to introduce things and when they would be able to go out on pasture and 
stuff to look for, you know, things like that, just to ensure that we're doing everything that we can to make sure that they are um, getting everything that they need at this stage in life because she was saying that this stage in life is important for getting them on, like, proper food and stuff so then you're not having issues later when you want them big. <laughs> right, like it's better to spend the money to do things correctly now than to try and fix it later yes. or, you know, whatever, along those lines, right. I think. Yeah. yeah, that's kind of what she was saying, so. But she gave a big thumbs up for all of them. Yeah, she said um, they all look really healthy. and. Uh, Wednesday night I wasn't home, and so Jenny was sending me some text messages. <laughs> or not, <laughs> but like, Wednesday evening, I guess. Yeah. And um, we're talking about the cows. Via, From like 9 to 10.30. About text messaging about cows. I got I got called out to work. And so she's texting me about cows. I'm like, okay, cows, and I'm working. And and I'm like, hey, look at these ones. Hey, look at these ones. These ones are here for this much. Oh, look at these ones. <laughs> and, and I'm kind of also flipping out because I've been on cows for, I don't know, a while now. But really, through this winter, I've been kind of pushing cows. And, uh, and I've been kind of anti-cow. And so I'm like, okay, cool. And I mean, it basically turned out that Jenny said, well, we can pick them up tomorrow at four. Yeah. I was like, what? <laughs> oh, I was like, okay. they're ready tomorrow. Okay, are we available tomorrow afternoon? <laughs> <laughs> and he's like, what? Or how? <laughs> Where are they? And I'm like, oh, it's not far. It's only like an hour. Can, can we pick them up at like four? <laughs> <laughs> I was like, uh... Yes. Okay. That, <laughs> I was like, I'll have I never the tell her no about anything, <laughs> anyways. So, uh, so we did. We drove yep. down, got them. Went, had to go south about an hour. Went and got them, and um, woke up Thursday morning thinking, "What did I do?" Because <laughs> <laughs> we we have nothing for them. So it's like, okay, well now we need to find out what milk replace early on, and get the same one, and get some bottles, and get a pen set up. And well, Thursday morning I woke up Jenny. I said, yeah. I said, Jenny, it's time to go. Uh, Grow the hamburger is what I said, I think. Something Friday like morning. Oh, yeah, we picked them up Thursday. Yeah. Yeah, fr I'm sorry, Friday morning. I woke her up. I said, we got to go grow the hamburger. It's time to grow the hamburger <laughs> or something like that. So I came out and bothered. Oh, I don't think but I think we're happy with them. Yeah. I don't know how happy we'll be after bottle feeding for a couple months, but <laughs> but it well, is fun to watch them bottle feed. Them. I figure if we survive treatments on Derby four times a day for 10 weeks, we yeah. should be able you to could, survive bottle feeding twice a day. You can catch some of those day. videos here. <laughs> twice a day yeah. for 12 weeks. Oh, you didn't talk about who was getting them. Oh, so one of these cows is going to go to our buddy, uh, well, our buddies, our friends, John and Heather at our hodgepodge homestead. Um, uh, you can't just off camera, Andrew's petting the cow. Uh, my other one's going to go to the, my coworker, uh, Michael, who has been a regular pig customer almost from the very beginning of us doing mm -hmm. pigs so all right so thanks for hanging out uh keep an eye out for some videos this week of cows baby cows um i guess for this week uh, there'll be uh one to two week old cows in the videos coming out this week so thanks for hanging out go ahead feel free to tell us how crazy we are impulse buying three bulls which are going to be steers here real soon real soon um I definitely noticed the one can be banded now. We just have to make sure they drop. Yeah, I think oh. they all can. Okay. All right, guys. Thanks.